ready to go and the tip is up and Derek Woods controls were underway goes into Posley Posley gets away from a collision goes down the lane goes up with a shot and score and it's 8-7 Bonnie's inside and uh, looking for someone to get the ball to finds Adams Jay going to try the three ball knocks it home Adams from the top of the key makes it 14-11. Court to Dion in the corner to Idris Taki. Taki penetrates, will go up with a shot and score. Nice drive by Idris Taki. Get it back to Posley. Posley on the right side. Here's Idris Taki for three. Good. Taki with his second three-pointer. Taki. Idris with the ball, brings it up the floor, hands it to Adams. Jay fakes, pops the three. No good. Dion with the rebound. Up it is. And he's fouled again. Count the basket to Dion Wright. He'll give it to Marcus. Posley coming down the floor. Gives a move on and scores. Goes right past Davis for the layup. And we're tied at 52. Posley. Marcus with the ball down to 17. Shot clock is off. Marcus penetrates. Goes up with a shot. Score! He's fouled. Marcus ties the score. It'll go to the line for one shot. Free throw on the way is good. Bonnie's lead. Ball will be inbounded to Hines. Hines coming up the floor, gets a screen, goes into the corner. Here's a shot for the score, and it's good. No basket, no basket, and the Bonnies win the game. Whoa. Can you believe that? Final score, St. Bonaventure 85, UMass 83. You get down by 19, um, you know, it didn't look good. But I thought, you know, we made a little bit of a, a push before halftime to cut it, cut it to 10, which gave us, I think, a little bit of hope. Um, went into halftime, talked. You know, we turned the ball over too many times in the first half, 10 times, and they, I think they had 18 points off of turnovers in the first half, and it just wasn't good. Um, and we just told them that, you know, we, we needed to come out in the second half. The first five minutes was the key, you know, getting stops and scores. And, and you know, we cut it into it. It gave us some confidence. We got some stops, but we just never get over the hump. You know, they always made, you know, a shot to, to uh, stop our momentum. Um, but like the season, the, the entire season, we we've always found a way. And I, I thought Adris, you know, making five threes, the most he's made in his career. I, he, he played. He was a huge key to our to our um, win today. Um, and we, we found a way. We you know we got some stops. Um, you know, even though they weren't a lot, uh, we made some plays, you know, and I, I thought, you know, uh, on senior day, you know, it, it's for the seniors. It's a special day. It's a day that, that you'll never forget as a basketball player. And for, for Marcus to make that shot at the end and for Dean to make the foul shot, you know, I think that's how it should end, you know, with, with the two seniors that meant so much to us um, being able to uh, help us win the game. But, um, you know, uh, this is something we talked about in the huddle. Try not to let that get to us too much because we knew how important this game was. And at the same time, you know, it just happened to lie on the night that it's senior night. And that's my last home game in the RC, Dion also. And, you know, and the game was a nail biter for our senior night. So, I mean, it was kind of crazy. But um, to, to have a cool milestone like that in two years, I think something special. And, um, and I'm just humble. Doing whatever it takes to win. And I know they would do the same. You know, they, like, we. We talk about it every day in practice. We just got to go hard, and we want to take practice like it's a game. So when we get to the game situations and we're in these tight games, when a play needs to be made, whoever it is that can make that play needs it. That's what needs to be done. So that's how I go into the games with my teammates, and I have faith in them.